Hey guys, welcome to another compilation. How you guys doing? This one is gonna be all about who's who, what's what. Transformation. Total disguise. Sometimes you can't even recognize which cast member is playing what. Like, I'm actually Natalie. And I'm actually Stacy. <gasps> so. So stick around, see if you can figure out who's who. Hey Mal, are you in here? Maybe. Do you know where Uncle Pete is? He has a guy outside waiting for a job interview. Uh, nope, don't know where he is, sorry. Come on Mal, you're his secretary. And what are you doing in the closet anyway? Nothing, just go away. What? what? <gasps> ah! Mal! What did you do to Uncle Pete? Nothing, okay? He just passed out after his third bucket of chicken. It happens all the time. <laughs> so, I'm gonna do his interview for him. Why don't you just reschedule the interview? Because the guy was super cute and oh. we really hit it off in the lobby and I don't want him to take another job. <laughs> this is what Uncle Pete would want. No, 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 I am pretty sure that Uncle, okay, Uncle Pete would not want to be shoved into a closet and then have all his clothes stolen. There's chicken everywhere. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, hi, hi, Uncle Pete. Are, are you ready to see me? Oh, yeah, it's a pleasure to meet you, young man. Leave. <laughs> Thank you so much for this opportunity, sir. It, it really means a lot. Uncle Pete don't shake hands. Uncle Pete gives long, lingering hugs. <laughs> Do you mind if we get started on the interview? Oh, yeah, sure, okay. sure, yeah, modifying idea. Okay. Oh, we're <laughs> men! <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, did you bring your resume? Oh, yes, sir. It's uh, right in here. Just hang on that on. All right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, here you go, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, this looks great. Now, how many years of work experience do you, do you have? Uh, five. All right. Any referrals? Yes, three. Past girlfriends? Seven. Wait, what? <laughs> That was not the response we were looking for. I'm sorry, how does that relate to the interview? Because I've seen your type. You'll leave as soon as a hotter company comes along. And this company ain't getting any younger and it wants a baby company before it's too late! No, no, I, I'm completely committed. To me? Y yeah. <laughs> I, I've been known for my dog-like loyalty. Woof, woof. <laughs> <laughs> You're adorable. You're ugly! Business. Okay. You distract me. The fool. Now, okay, let's talk some business ethics. Just, you know. You hurt it? Nope. All right, all right. Okay. Now, let's say, who the heck? Who the heck? Got lost for a second in there. All right, let's all right. say that the only way you could get this job is if you dated my secretary, Mallory. Would you do it? No, that would be completely unethical. Fail! What? <laughs> you think you're too good for her? She could look exactly like me and she would still have it. <laughs> Sir, I, I, I think I'm gonna go. Oh, no, okay? This company is all about comfort, all right? So you're not uncomfortable. We even have casual Fridays. Well. I guess that's a nice perk, but... Yeah, you better believe it. My only requirement is that you uh, let me choose the jeans you wear for it. Yeah, I'm feeling uncomfortable again. No, no, we'll go on down to the mall and you do a little jean fashion show. I'm thinking Levi's, but you should pursue all your options, you know? <laughs> Uncle Pete, you want to wrap this what? up? Don't tell me my business! Now get! Get! Oh. I just got, I got testosterone, a lot of it, because I'm a man. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, okay. I'm, I'm gonna get going. Oh, you know, no, the last part of the interview is very important. Okay, you listen close. All right. Okay, you're gonna do push-ups, and I'm gonna watch while I drink this smoothie. What? I've heard enough. Uncle Pete, Now, nah, you done wake me up from my daily food coma with your tomfoolery. Now, I can explain. Now, now, get out of here before I fire you. Bye. No, no. <laughs> Thanks, Uncle Pete. That was one of the most awkward experiences of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Pete don't shake hands. 
Come here, boy. What? Wow, I'm, I'm quite nervous. This is the most prestigious group on campus. Yeah, whatever, bro. Hey, Franklin! B. Frank! What's up, guys? We got a new guy, James Madison. Oh, what's up? Tom Jefferson. Uh, hey, man. Alex Hamilton. Oh, hey, man, man? Man. Why does everyone ask that? So you want to join the Founding Fathers, huh? Uh, gee, would I? Well, first, you got to impress Washington. Yeah. Who? George Washington led our troops to a winning uh, season this right. year. Yeah. Almost got suspended for the rowboat prank. Oh, yeah. Oh. What was that? He got some rowboats and ruined Christmas for some Hessian foreign exchange kids. Oh. <laughs> Classic. Almost got away with it, too, but then he tagged himself in some oil painting on Face Legend. Yeah. yeah. Oh. He sounds kind of cocky. Dude, not at all. Oh. Let's see, I got the quarter, the dollar, the capital, my own state, my face carved on the side of the mountain, but I could use a giant spike with my name on it. Yeah. 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 That was a great battle, man. You were tearing up the field. Yeah, I was. I cannot tell a lie. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Who's the new guy? James Madison. He wants Ooh. to join the Founded Fathers. Oh, does he now? Well, how about for initiation, he faces Jefferson in a ride-off? Oh. 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 Oh, oh, gee, fellas, uh, my parents tell me I'm too young to write. Plus, what if Benedict rats on us again? No way, man. Writing is part of colonial life. Hey, one dollar says Madison can't hold his pros. Make it two. Ten. Hundred. Well, okay. <laughs> All right, so the first one to lay down a historically significant document wins. Quills up. Right, 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 Got a declaration for Britain, baby. All men are equal. Oh, wait up. Even if you're not a male landowner? There's a footnote. Okay. All right, what you got, Madison? I call it the Constitution. A bunch of rules? I thought we could make a government. Okay, government's good. But we need some pranks in here. Oh, yeah, sure. yeah. Wait, we're pranking the future America? Wait, 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 I got it, I got it. We'll pretend it's a democracy, but then we'll give little states as many senators as big ones. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, but everyone gets to choose the president, right? Right, right, right. As long as you're from Ohio or Florida. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, it still makes too much sense to me. Then let's add an electoral college. Yes. There it is. No. Yes. There it is. You're ruining politics. You're making a system where everyone's mad at each other and no one knows what they're talking about. Guys, we need some hazing. Yes. Hazing? Yes. yes. District. How about this? If you want to join politics, you either got to be on Team Elephant or Team Donkey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or better yet, better yet, Team Tea Party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that sounds girly. <laughs> Hamilton could join, right? Oh. Okay, that is it! That is it! Fifth Amendment, you can remain silent! Fifth? First Amendment. I can say what I want. Go in order. Second Amendment, tell that to the heat on packing! Okay, whoa! Look, I may be a little androgynous. That's giving you a lot of credit. But the only girl that I see in here is that sissy Aaron Burr! You wanna dance, tough guy? Let's go! Oh, whoa! Hey, come on, take it outside! Take it outside! Don't worry. They're just letting off a little steam. Nothing will happen, I'm sure. Yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> All right. Where were we? That's it. You're all acting immature and irresponsible. I don't know if I want to be a founding father. Uh, what is this? I don't know. Sam Adams made it. <laughs> no one should ever drink this. Huh? I don't want to stand around and have you take my ideas and take all the glory and leave me historically underrated. Listen, Maggleby. Madison! Look, if it means that much to you, we'll put you on the $5 bill and the penny. You really mean it? Yeah. Unless someone cooler comes along. <clears throat> well, uh, you guys are the best. <laughs> hey, everybody, take a seat. All right, this is the test you've been preparing for all year. No pressure, but if you fail, you will not graduate. Oh, no. Oh, no. Matt, did you know we had a test? Uh, yeah, who didn't? We didn't. We didn't study for this at all. Guys, this is a really important test. Is it, Matt? Is it? Are you actually asking? Because the answer is yes. <sighs> Matt, we need Grandma Tildy. Yeah. No, besides it's Stacy's turn to be oh, Tildy. No. Dude, our future is riding on this test. Come on, please, man, come on. Uh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Yes! Mrs. Madsen? Yeah? May I go to the bathroom? I don't know, may you? Oh, 
Actually, that was the right one. Uh, yes, you may, but hurry back. This is a time test. Uh, you guys owe me. Dude, anything, except for expensive things. Or just money in general. Yeah. Hey, everyone, I want nothing but your best work today. This is the test we've been preparing for all year. And once you have your test, there is no talking and absolutely no cell phone use. Dude, where is he? Oh, he's betrayed us. Quick, kill me so I don't have okay. to take the test. No! Stab it in the neck. No. Excuse me. Oh, yes, can I help you? Yes, I'm, I'm here to collect my grandsons, Adam and Stacy. You two are related? Uh, yeah, we're gonna commit to that. Um, th they're cousins. Really? Yeah. Well, they're not identical cousins. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, I'm sorry, your grandsons have to take a very important test. Can this possibly wait, Miss? Uh, Tildy is the name. Grandma Tildy from Tennessee. I grew up in Tennessee. Oh, good. Uh, lovely place, isn't it? Uh, or is it? What part are you from? Oh, small <laughs> town. I'm sure you've never heard of it. No, really, try me. All right. Uh, it's called... Nashville. <laughs> Nashville. Uh, have you heard of it? Of course, Nashville's huge. Oh, well, cities grow up so fast. <laughs> uh, it was smaller in my time. Yes, that's of course, true. so was my waistline, am I right? <laughs> I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Oh, you look lovely. Uh, <laughs> What do you do, uh, hot yoga, or, or what are the kids up to these days, Zumba? Listen, your grandsons need to take this test in order to graduate. Is that so? Well, sounds like an important test. One that you would have to be a fool to forget. I really must insist that they stay. Well, you heard her, boys. I'll just go wait for you in the shade of an apple tree. <laughs> Well, nice to meet you. Yeah, likewise. Oh, 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 oh whoopsie doodles. Uh, it's oh. fine. What are you doing? What? <laughs> I'm not setting fire to your tests, so I'll tell you that. So what are you doing? Is this not a candle? I, I thought it was a Yankee. No, it's paper. It's paper. <laughs> My mistake. You know, for an older woman, you have suspiciously youthful skin. Oh, sweet of you to say. Uh, you know, lots of moisturizer yeah. and uh, prayer. <laughs> what year were you born? In 1927. So that would make you how old? Oh! Oh, 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 cardiac arrest and oh, such. Oh, oh, let me call you an ambulance. No! Oh, 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 no. I, I can't ride in ambulances. It's uh, against my religion. Really? Oh, yes. No, we can't ride in loud vehicles after one o'clock. It's 12.30. Uh, we shouldn't risk it. Oh, off we go. Uh, careful, boys. I have osteoponorosis. Oh, I hope they're okay. Yeah, good luck. I hope that old lady's going to be okay. I know. I hope so, too. Isn't it Stacy's turn to be Tildy? <laughs> see you. Mom? What? What is it? There's something under my bed. Oh, sweetheart, how many times do I have to tell you that there is no monster under your bed? It's not a monster. It's Grammy Award winning artist Pitbull. Pitbull isn't real. Okay, you need to go back to sleep. I love you. Me too. <laughs> I know you haunt me. You know I haunt ya. I know you haunt me. You know I haunt ya. It was him again. You gotta believe me. Come here, baby. I understand. I used to have pit bull nightmares, too. But this was real. He just kept saying the same words at the end of each line as though it was an actual substitute for a proper rhyme. It was terrible. Listen to me closely, okay? There is no one living under your bed. Okay, look. Golly. What was that? It was just the creak from the bed. I have to go back to sleep, okay? Okay. Mom! What was it? I don't know, but it sounded degrading. Mom! What? What happened? 
thinks I don't know how to count to four in Spanish. I don't know how else to say this to convince you. I mean, if Pitbull were really here, I'm sure I could just say something shallow and creepy like girls on the beach and he'd pop right <laughs> up. Oh, oh no! Your room really is featuring Pitbull. <gasps> what do we do? Don't worry, baby. According to legend, we can banish him if we just close our no. eyes and say Miami three times. Miami, Miami, Miami! Miami. Miami. Sorry I didn't believe you. But you don't have to worry anymore, okay? The bad man is gone. Okay. okay? I love you. I love you too. Opa Gangnam Style! Welcome to Marwan the Mystic's, uh, place. How may I provide the help to you? I was wondering if you could tell me... Your fortune? Yes. Oh, really? Usually people just ask for directions to bathroom, but I always say, your fortune? And I'm right like 2% of time. Sit, sit. Thank you. Um, just looking for any insights you might have. I'm thinking about switching careers. Mm. Well, the crystal ball says that would be very boring. But it could be fun, though. Oh, okay. Um, any idea which one it is? Well, the ball for sure says it will be boring. I see. But it could be fun, though. It could be. Sorry, I'm confused. Do I, do I listen to the ball or to you? Well, probably the ball, to be honest. It's pretty accurate. But it could be wrong, though. It could be. How often is it wrong? Oh, like never. But it could be. You know, anything could happen when you have a dream in your heart and a twinkle in the in the face. Okay, um, maybe I'll just go with the ball, yeah? Um, does it say anything about my vacation next week? Will I, uh, you know, meet someone special or something? Oh, no, it says there is trouble ahead. Does it? Mm. Yes, terrible calamity that is not good. But it could be fun, though. It could be. It could be very fun. It could be the worst thing you have ever experienced, like you want to gouge eye out with spoon or something, but it could be fun, though. It could be. Do you know which one it is? Uh, what, is what does the ball say? Well, the ball thinks it knows everything, and it's like, this is for sure going to be bad. But I think it could be fun, though, you know? It's, it's hard to say. It's 50-50. It's, it's definitely not the middle. It will either be super fun or the worst thing ever. Just a hands-down disaster. You will be crying, and the, and the loneliness will call your mother. But it could be fun, though. It could be. Okay, what will make it fun? Oh, you know, anything could be fun. It's all perspective, really. Anything could be bad, too. It could be. It could be very bad. But it could be fun, though. It could be. I'm just gonna cancel my trip. It's not worth the risk. But why? It's fine. It's just a cruise. It's not like a wedding or a Beyonce concert. But what if it's fun, though? What if it's terrible? It could always be terrible. It could always be fun. Aha! Dang it. Look, don't let the ball scare you, even though it's super accurate. Especially when it comes to bad things. It is like a prescient little glass doomsayer. The end of the world approaches. Armageddon is nigh. All will be darkness and screaming. No one will escape the suffering! But it could be fun, though. Okay, how about this? Crystal Ball, should I listen to you or to Marwin? It says, listen to spleen? No, heart. That's a heart. I don't know what organs look like. Okay, thank you, Ball. Thank you, Marwin. Uh, wait, what did you decide? I don't know, but I know that I'm going to be the one who decides it. Oh, that's deep. And ultimately very bad for my business. Yes. But it could be fun, though. Ah! Actually, that's trademarked. Please don't use it. Sorry. It's 
Bye. Excuse me, I was just wondering. Your fortune? Bathroom. Down hall, second door. Matt? Matt, are you home? I'm so worried about him. He hasn't answered his phone in a week. Matt! Oh! oh. 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 Hi, guys. Matt! What happened? You look... Different? <laughs> Largely different. I filled in a little, but I've never felt better. Ah! How are you guys? <laughs> We've been worried about you, but now well, I feel like maybe we weren't worried enough. Oh, sorry, I haven't been answering your calls. My phone is in my back pocket and I can no longer reach that area. What has happened to you? I have been on a cleanse for the last month. You gained all that weight on a juice cleanse? Oh, not a juice cleanse, a bacon cleanse. You've been eating nothing but bacon for a month? Never felt better. Oh. <laughs> that was my last chair. Matt, you can't just eat bacon for every meal. That's not how cleanses work. Of course that's how cleanses work. You pick one thing and eat only that thing. Juice, bacon, bacon juice. That's grease. I've heard it both ways. Okay. <laughs> Matt, this isn't healthy. Just look how much weight you've put on. I'm Ah! See? Okay. Are we gonna talk about that? It's just something the body does. No, Matt, you need to see a doctor. Ha! I am as healthy as an ox and weigh as much as an ox. Matt, you need a more balanced diet. Bacon has everything you need to survive, Mal. Meat. You can't live on just meat! Explain that to a lion. You know, sometimes I stood up too fast. Oh! Oh. Oh. That was unfortunate. When was the last time you exercised? When did Shrek come out? It's 2001. I've never exercised. Oh. Well, at least he has to get up to cook the bacon. Actually, it's pre-cooked, and I have it delivered by Amazon drone. Sometimes it just hovers above my head and feeds me. It's like an angel dropping bacon manna from heaven. So you get no physical activity? I chew, usually. Ugh, Matt, you can't live like this. And yet here I am, living, breathing, sweating in strange places. But if you go on like this, you're gonna die. Everyone dies, Mallory. Not everyone truly lives. Okay, maybe I'm not well. Yeah. But I can't stop now. My cuddling opportunities have increased tenfold. Matt, your everything has increased tenfold. You're right. I do admit it'd be nice if I could fit in my bathtub again. You haven't been bathing? No, I have. There's a fountain at the mall. <laughs> and now that I've said that out loud, I'm ready to make some life changes. Yeah. Yeah. Would you help me go buy some fruits and vegetables? Yes. Of course. Thank yes. you. Yes. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, oh. Goodbye, old friend. I've enjoyed our time. To ah! Let's go before I die. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Miss Rosewater, on the night of the robbery, the defendant claims to have been at your house helping you fix your car. Is that true? Well, not exactly. Can you tell us what happened then? Yes. Uh, my car had been making some weird noises, so Josh agreed to come over and check it out. He got to my house around 6.30, but he forgot his tools. You know, she got that look in her eye, baby. My former husband had that same look, and he killed lots of people. Yeah, he did. Ma'am, please keep to yourself. Yeah, yeah, I am, Mr. Judge, I am. Thank you. Go on. So he said he'd come back the next day, and then we just went inside and talked. Cahoots! Ooh, ooh, I can feel it in my bones, baby. Sweet Georgia Brown name, Cahoots. Ma'am, 
I need you to just listen. No, I'm listening, I'm listening real good because I'm gonna solve this crime, all right? Mama J is on the case, don't y'all worry. Just listen. Oh, you know, my ears are open, Mr. Judge, just like my home. I mean, I'll make you some cookies. You, you like snickerdoodle, Mr. Judge? When I looked at your face, I thought snickerdoodle. And so, I, you know what, that's my gift. Yeah, so I'll be as silent as my dead third husband. He was a smoker, you know? Died in a plane crash, it was nasty. Okay, let's keep going. So Josh left my house at about eight. Guilty, she's guilty! I know she did it. She is not a suspect. Join me brothers, have mercy, hallelujah! Have mercy, hallelujah, hallelujah! Stop singing. Ooh. My mind's eye, my mind's eye is saying that she is Guilty! 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 Woo! Ma'am! I'll be silent. Thank you. And that's all that happened. <gasps> Hot stars, horseshoes, clovers, and blue moon. She innocent! I knew she was innocent. Y'all need to change. Y'all need to change. She's, she's good. And what did you and Mr. Gottlieb talk about? Uh, I don't know. Work. Blood! Blood on our hands! Man, I need you to settle down or I'm going to have you removed. I am so sorry, Mr. Judge, sir, but there are so many twists and turns to the case. It's like watching a game of shoots and ladders. Sit down. Fair enough, Mr. Judge, fair enough. As for you, Miss Lawyer, keep keep doing what you're doing. Uh, you. Miss Testifier, you, you keep lying. <clears throat> Mama J gonna be right here if y'all need a hug or something. Did you talk about anything other than work? I think he mentioned visiting his sick brother. I need to say something! No! I, I got to get this off my chest! Ma'am! This is inappropriate! I robbed the store and I rode away on the police horse! What? <laughs> it wasn't me! I did it! I've been thinking about it, Mr. Judge, and it all makes sense! We have video surveillance! It was not you! It was, Mr. Judge! I am guilty! Last year, I didn't give a homeless fella my change. And these things, Mr. Judge, sir, have a ripple effect. I, it's my fault the universe is collecting against me. You take me to jail, baby. Come on. Amazing grace, how sweet the... Deception! The sick will break y'all! And we'll grab a stick of noodles and run! Could it be my girlfriend that I haven't seen for a month? Ah, I've missed you! I missed you too. Yeah. Did you not see the sign? You mean that poorly hand-drawn note, officer? The uh, former lieutenant of the volunteer precinct Williams to you. And look here, ma'am, if that is your name, in fact, in this park that I voluntarily patrol on my laundry breaks, there will be order. And that begins with, come here real quick, no PDA! <laughs> is that clear? Yes, yes sir. All right, do me a favor, get on out of here! Okay. Go on, get no. one! Sorry. I'm I'm sorry. Okay. Can Ooh, we just, um, oh, oh, please. Can we go? Just, wait. What, what the? Uh, what are you doing? Mm. All right. Let's just go around the back. Come on now. Watch out. Oh. Wait, oh. There, oh. Is there a problem? Did you not see the sign, boy? I, oh, hold on now. Doggone wind just picks up and it. Here we go right here. There we go. You just posted that there. Nah, I just posted that here. Ah. Uh huh. Yeah. And I learned this one from Kung Fu Panda, two special features. Uh -huh. So why don't you keep your hands to yourselves so mine, watch out now. Oh. Yeah, why so mine don't have to get involved. All right. Come on, officer, you were young once. Uh, former lieutenant of the volunteer precinct to you. And no, I was never young once. I was born with the brain and body of a portly 55 year old. <laughs> it's a rare genetic disorder. Bam! Mm. What? That's me right there. Yeah. 
While most kids were, were sucking their thumbs and eating glue, I was filing my taxes and watching reruns of Gilligan's Island. Mm-hmm. You can hold on to that one for later. I don't want it. So why don't you and you get on out of here with that Hanky Tootle went to town mess before I have to break something. All right? Okay. Go on get. Okay. Get! Go on get, folks! I'm gonna get you. Elizabeth Jane, I love you so much, and I promise I will never give you any reason to doubt it. Ah! <laughs> no! Crash is averted. What is it? What happened? Girl, did you not see the sign right there? But today is special. I was gonna propose to my girl. Oh, oh, back it up. One more salacious or tantalizing move, and I will pepper spray the hormones out of both of y'all. <laughs> when I was five years old, I witnessed my granddaddy hug my grandmammy. <laughs> and she died 10 years later. <laughs> now I know 1.3 different languages, and I will pepper spray y'all and all of them. So get out of my pond! You can't be Get on now! I said, go on now, get! Too much indecency in the world today. Uh, oh, what, what, what do we got here? You know what? They gonna learn today. <laughs> Mr. President, he wants to speak with you directly. Or what? He'll blow up the Earth. Fair enough, put him through. Uh, Mr. President, are you sure this is unprecedented? We have never dealt with extraterrestrial life before. We don't have any other options. Do it. Greetings, Earthlings. My name is General Zordax, leader of the planet Sweetara, and I am here to destroy you. Why? Because two weeks ago, a member of your staff purchased a star which happened to be my planet's son. I beg your pardon? Do not deny it, Mr. President. I have the official document right here from Starnamer.com. Listen, General, I can assure you no one on my <clears throat> Mr. Staff. President, I may have unknowingly purchased his planet's son as a 25th wedding anniversary gift. Commander, how could you? I'm sorry, sir, I had no idea. No, I mean, how could you purchase such a lame wedding anniversary gift? It's... <laughs> His wife was so upset, she made him sleep on the couch. That's privileged information, General. Tell them what you named the star. Never. Do it, Commander, that's an order. Warner lover. What was that? Wounded lover! <laughs> <laughs> Silence! You think that's funny? Do you know how annoying that has been for our planet? Now, whenever it's hot outside, we have to say, the wounded lover sure is strong today. <laughs> Better put on some wounded lover screen or we'll get to wounded lover burn. He's right, that's super annoying. Okay, people, no one is making him call it wounded lover. Actually, we are. Don't worry, sir, StarNamer.com's legal team is the best in the galaxy. How? <laughs> Regardless, are you really going to blow up our planet because of an annoyance? Annoyance, our world religion is based off of sun worship, and now we pray to the wounded lover. <laughs> our youth have started to worship the moon, and not even our good moon. But does that really justify destroying planet Earth? We have become the pansies of the galaxy. Thanks to our name change, we've been attacked 15 times in the last 14 days. One of the invading armies gave our planet a giant wedgie. You oh, okay. oh. Why would anyone attack you over a name? A name is everything. For example, our neighboring solar system star was renamed Chuck Norris Source Rex. Do you think anyone messes with them? No. And it's a planet made of gold, diamonds, and populated by fluffy bunnies. Let's talk negotiations. You want money? There is no amount of money which can heal my planet's self-esteem. But if you give us half of your... What? Oh, well, that's just dandy. Apparently, our planet has been completely destroyed by the bunnies. <laughs> I don't even know how that works. I hope you're happy. Uh, 
Well done, Mr. President. Crisis technically averted. That's good. Well done, everyone. Who's the fool who dare named our planet's son Lonely Boy Forever? Two for one special. Unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you so much for allowing us to pitch our idea to you, sir. Let's keep going. Um, keep going. And as you know, there have been a host of popular diet trends over the years. Atkins, Paleo, Whole30, to name a few. But for the majority of Americans, these diet trends are unrealistic and unsustainable. Until now. That's right. We've developed a new diet that will attract and retain everyone because it's exactly what they've always wanted. And we want you to be the official spokesman for it. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> That's right, Mr. Monster. Introducing the new diet trend, nay, diet standard, the cookie diet. Ah, uh, look. You all know how me feel about cookie. Big fan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Big fan. Fair. Yes. But me cannot deny health consequences of cookie. Consequences? Look, Mr. Monster, here is a picture of you taken in 1976. And this is a picture of you taken last week. <laughs> You've literally eaten nothing but cookies for 40 years and you haven't aged a day. Me think me body handle cookie different than most people. <laughs> On outside, me look great, but on inside, oh! <laughs> oh! Okay, okay, okay. okay. We you get the idea. Yes, yes, we, we get it. Me say to kids, cookie, 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 but cookie is a sometime food. Me also eat eggplant and artichoke. No, no, we all know that's a lie. Yeah, don't. <laughs> Plus, we agreed we will offer you millions to endorse this diet. No. Me tired of contributing to obesity epidemic. <laughs> me no accept dirty cookie money. Gee, that's too bad. Oh, what you doing? <laughs> oh, nothing. I'm just a little hungry. Me cookie monster. You real monster. <laughs> This one is just so gooey. It has too many chocolate chips. I think I might just throw it out. Oh, yum, 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 yum. We could just have you sign here and here, Mr. Monster. Oh, C is for corruption. Have some cookies. Hey, I'm Steven. Hey, I'm Natalie. I'm. <laughs> also hurtful. Okay, hope you're liking this compilation. Stick around, there's lots more to come. We'll try to find better disguises by the time you get back. I don't know, you're talking about I look great. Do I look good? No. Oh, Mercedes, what a joyous day. First my promotion to captain, and now our engagement. I know, I'm so happy. <sighs> oh, Fernand, I must tell him of our engagement. I don't I know he is your best friend, but I get the sense that he wishes you ill. Oh, Mercedes, I know he's a little stiff, but I'm sure he'll be delighted at my good fortune. Fernand. Edmond, I came as soon as I heard of your promotion. I wish you all the happiness. But there's more, Fernand. More? Oh, to have more happiness added upon this already auspicious day. Say it at once, for I cannot wait another second, nay, another millisecond for the sweet news to reach my ears. Mercedes and I are engaged. Edmond, I'm sure you can see by my demeanor I am filled with celestial joy. Ah, uh, I'm not seeing it, actually. Yours is alive, truly blessed, Edmond. Why are your fists clenched so tightly? I do not believe they're clenched that tightly. Your knuckles are white. With rapture, I am in the thralls of ecstasy for your prosperity. I'm sorry, I'm very confused right now. Edmond Dantes? Yes? I have a message from your employer, Monsieur Morel. He is retiring and wishes to give you the shipping business. What? Edmond! Only the angels above can know how truly happy I am at this moment. Really? You do realize this means I'm being promoted over you? A fact I wish to celebrate. 
for it is a most exhilarating day when one's friend is so immeasurably fortunate. <coughs> Mazel tov. Cousin Edmond, did you hear? Our late Uncle Clarion left you his entire inheritance. Uh, perhaps now is not the time to talk about it, cousin. Nonsense. Do go on with this happy news. It includes his luxurious estate. Uh, thank you, cousin. And his basement full of ancient treasure. I would be remiss if I could not congratulate my comrade on such a serendipitous report. Fernand, that waiter, you're hurting him. I don't think so. No, you are. His face is blue. If I am, it is because I am in the throes of euphoria and cannot contain my feverish elation. Fernand, you really should let go. You cannot censure me for my joy, Edmond. <laughs> you are not joyful, Fernand. Everything but your words indicates raging hatred for me. My dear Edmond, I apologize from the bottom of my adoring heart if I conveyed that sentiment. You mean the world to me, and I want you to be happy. Really? Truly. Gentlemen, King Louis is on his deathbed and wishes to name the heir to his throne. It's Fernand. Yes! Yes! So happy day! This is me being happy, Edmond! I was faking it! Ha! Yeah! Wait, I meant Edmond. Edmond is king. A simple mistake. Well, Edmond, I'm filled to the brim with jubilation. Oh, it was Fernand. Yeah, uh, the E's and the F's in the calligraphy are kind of, they're similar. Welcome back to the tent. It's week seven and there's six contestants left. Our bakers have been tasked with making a pristine custard tart, but which confections will be perfection? This is <gasps> the Great British Bake Off. I won. No, no, no. One, two, three. Great British Bake Off. Oh. Our bakers won't know if they've succeeded until Paul and Mary try their tarts. Hello, John. Hello. If I'm going to be honest, John, it looks a bit of a mess. It was probably about six minutes from perfection. Okay. Cuts well. Cuts well, very well. Flavors are good. Shame about the display, though. Mm, thank you. Sorry about that. Eric. I'm so embarrassed. Hmm. Lovely color. Are you serious? Okay, actually I have one more, but it's just a part of it, and I was going to save it for later, but it's yours if you want it. Why is this so flat? You sat no, on this, I... didn't you? No, I, I quite like it. I Mary. like the flatness. Mary. No, it shows that he, he knows how to, how to bake with more than just his hands. Yeah. So did you bake anything? Yes, this is my ingredients tart. This is nothing but ingredients. Thank you. No, there wasn't a comp... I really like this. The egg... has a nice crunch. Can we get more of these? Mm. This is my bribery tart. This is a disgrace. Hmm. Tastes more like money than a tart. Yes, that's because it's money. Just for you two. Oh, I quite like it. You know how many tans have touched this? No, I think that gives it flavor. Someone didn't wash their hands. I can tell. All right, Michael. So what we have here is a sirloin steak. Oh, no, sir. This is a tart in the shape of a sirloin. That is not a tart. It may not look it, but that is a favorite family recipe. I think it looks rather fun. Mary, just... Michael, I've got real problems with this. 
Underproved, is it? The proof doesn't enter it. This is a piece of steak. Paul, if you'll just take a bite, it's a fantastic tart. Come on, Paul. Definitely cuts like a steak. Smells like a steak. It's a tart. Sure enough, that's a steak. Yeah, I can see where I went wrong. Sorry about that. I've always said we needed more protein in our bakes. An invisible tart. Yes, it's filled with raspberry. Well done, Richard. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. I can't believe I've lived here for a whole year and I've never been up here. Look at all this stuff. Oh, whoops. Right. Oh no. Oh, come on. Trust me, what? it's no use. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> are you, you're an attic hobo? Oh, I'm no attic hobo. Why? Are you? I'm the previous home owner. <laughs> um, that's, no, that's impossible. Hey, 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 back off. I bought this house from a widow, okay? Her name was- Cynthia? Yes, how did you know that? Because that widow was my wife. <laughs> you, you see, I came up here just oh. like you, but then I never came down. Wait, how long have you been up here? How long does it look like I've been up here? <laughs> the only thing that has kept me alive is this Tamagotchi pet. I have walked him, fed him, loved him, like he was my own oh, Tamagotchi hey, hey, hey. son. What was that? Uh, sounds like the battery's dying. No! Why? He had so much more to give! Take me instead. Okay, you've obviously been up here way too long. I'm gonna yell down to my family. Don't be a fool. What? We're on our own now, Jim. We're That's on our own. I, I'm, I'm gonna call down my family, okay? Hey, hey, someone let me out. There's a crazy guy up here. Someone? Dad, is that really you? Yes, yes, Jimmy. Hey, I need you to pull on the cord to unlock the door, okay? Don't do it, Jimmy. Why not, Mom? That's just your father's ghost. <laughs> what? What? People who hear voices from the attic automatically assume it's a ghost. Go. Wait, no, I, I'm not dead. I've been up here for what, two minutes? That's it, we're moving kids. I can't what? live in this house haunted by your father's memory. Bye, ghost dad. Wait. <laughs> they left really fast. <laughs> oh, what, I, what am I gonna do? Survived. <laughs> With the two of us, we'll be able to hunt twice as effectively. <laughs> There's nothing to hunt, it's an attic. Got him! Woo! Woo! He's a fighter too! Oh, oh yeah! Mom? Oh, the attic gods have oh. smiled upon us. This. We shall feast as kings tonight. Feast? That thing's like negative three ounces. Here, try a leg. Oh, what? There's nothing on it. Are you kidding me? Look at all the meat on that thigh. That's not food. Oh, oh don't please. Oh. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Wow, I am full. <laughs> so, what do you want to do now? Usually by this time of day, I start to dance with sewing mannequin over there. She's playing coy. I'm, I'm good, you go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry, you got something better to do with your time? Here, why don't we watch Waterworld? Because it's the only movie we have! How many times have you watched that? Once! It's that bad. <laughs> All right, listen, there's something called Netflix. It's on my phone, I'll let you, wait. Oh, I have my phone. 
Oh, I'm such an idiot. I could just call someone to get us out of here. Good thing I remembered before my batteries went out. Hey. What? What did you do to my phone? I needed the batteries for my Tamagotchi. <laughs> He's alive! Didn't think you'd show up, Captain Blackbeard. Well, you should know that I'm a man of me word, Captain Whitebeard. <laughs> well, looks like all we're waiting for now is Captain Redbeard. <laughs> Yo ho! Well, now that we're all here, we can... are Captain Neckbeard. <laughs> aye, tis I. Seems you be having a private meeting. Without me. Uh. Well, I'm afraid you're outnumbered, matey. Oh? Ah! Captain Rainbow Beard! Nah. And Captain Baby Beard, the prepubescent terror of the seven seas! <laughs> Yo ho! Well, now look, you here, we don't want win no trouble, mateys. But you'll be getting it all the same! Ah. Ah. Been waiting a long time for this. Ah. Oh. Captain Weird Beard! Ah. I think you've met me associates, Captain Flowbeard and Captain Lipbeard. Yo, yo, ho. <laughs> my beard isn't nearly cool enough for this meeting. Uh. This be the first time we all be in the same place, and it's the last. <laughs> it's Captain Beard. <laughs> hey, tis I, Captain Beard. Now there be enough room on the seas for all of us, says I, just as there be enough room on me face for me beard. I'm not sure that's the strongest analogy you could have made. Way anchor and set sail, ye scurvy dogs. We have an ocean to roll. Yeah. 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 All right, good. Oh, uh, except you, Captain Neckbeard. That's just the grossest thing I ever did see. <laughs> Welcome to Good Eats. My name is Bethany. What can we make for you today? Yes, hello. I would like two flirmers. <laughs> uh, what? One, what? Two flirmbyamahas. <laughs> Sir, you having a hard time reading the sign? No, no. It, it says right here I can get a bacon flupper jammy. <laughs> Are you saying hamburger? Yes, yeah, sure. I would like two of those. Okay, what toppings would you like? They're listed at the bottom of the sign. Okay, how about toda batons? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Yeah, toda batons. <laughs> lots and lots of toady batons. Sir, I don't understand what you're saying. Red and juicy Tony petunias. <laughs> So, tomatoes. Yeah, mm, mm, mm. Give me some chorb. What? Swiss chorb. Cheese? Do you not know what cheese is? Make sure you do not put any finlaggy hopo on there, okay? Okay, I won't. Because if I eat even a little bit of that stuff, I will die. Wait, what? Can you say that again? I will die. No, no, the thing you're allergic to. To drink, I would like a macrolite. Milkshake? Flavor? Star moon digger. Strawberry. And give me a glass of warble. Okay, I know you know what water is. Hey, I'm the one ordering here. And your sign clearly says, Goomalur Maherpta Kamudalingi Raptor Face. Please pay at the second window. Thank you. What, what was your name? Bethany. Beyonce, I'll be right there. <laughs> You're not Queen Bay. All right. 
people, let's do this. Oh, hey, Ronald, we weren't expecting you today. Really? Today's the commercial shoot, right? Well, yeah, but... Yeah. Uh... Well, okay, I'm just gonna come right out and say it. Uh, McDonald's is going in a new direction, yes. uh, cleaning up our look, and we replaced you. What? Don't take it personally, okay? I mean, Taco Bell got rid of the Chihuahua. Yeah, probably in the form of a taco. Yes. <laughs> but I've been here 50 years. And that, we really appreciate that. Um, but uh, even Wendy's replaced Wendy, right? You mean Dave's daughter? Yeah, and the yeah. new Wendy is way hot. <laughs> More appealing to customers. Exactly. I can't believe this. Well, who's my replacement? Hi. Do you know who this is? We wanted to stick with the clown image. Kids love clowns. <laughs> and you could have gotten like Jack in the Box or something? Uh, please, that guy looks like a serial killer, am I right? <laughs> he does, he does. But he is a serial killer. Ron, McDonald's deserves a better class of mascot. And I'm gonna give it to him. You'll see, when the fries are gone, these uh, <clears throat> kids will eat each other. Oh, and we love his vision. Oh, yes. Show him the new motto. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ba, 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 ba. Let's put a smile on that face. Did you hear him? Yeah, smile. Uh, no, that is not a smile. Those are creepy, creepy scars. Oh, and here we go. Don't listen to him, okay? Maybe if you actually got to know him, you'd hear some really tender stories about his dad and wife. Yeah, family values, we need that. Families, really? What happens when he scares away all the kids? Oh, the kids are gonna love him! Check out his new design for the Happy Meals. Oh yeah, okay, so this comes with chicken nuggets. Are those real chicken? Still no, okay. So it comes with nuggets, yeah. and uh, this fun new toy, I don't know what it is, but it looks neat. Hmm. Oh. Right. Seriously, no red flags there for anyone? <laughs> Kids will love that. Well, what happens to Hamburglar and Grimace? Do they get to stay? We'll have tryouts. Great idea! Huh? No, that is a terrible idea. You realize we'll have the most evil ad campaign in America. Oh, come on. Worse than cows promoting chicken genocide? <laughs> the second most evil ad campaign in America. Ronald, listen. Uh, have you had the McRib? <laughs> Hiring the Joker is not the worst thing McDonald's has done. Okay? All right, uh, we're done with this conversation. Right. Are we ready? Yeah. Roll cameras. Action. Well, hello, beautiful. Do you wanna know how I got these stretch marks? Cut. Beautiful. Oh one take, one That was, so good. Goodness, guy, that was yeah. great. That was yeah. Though long forgotten, nothing can compare to the majesty, wisdom, and intrigue of the gods of the ancient Greek pantheon. I am Zeus, god of the sky, the weather, and fate. Come to me, all those who question their destiny. I am Aphrodite, goddess of love, passion, and beauty. I will find love for the loveless. I am Poseidon, god of the rivers, seas, and earthquakes. Beware the elements. I am Artemis, goddess of wild animals, disease, and children. Come to me for all animal attacks, disease attacks, and child attacks. I am Demeter, goddess of agriculture. Farm, and I will be there. I am Mastos, god of sensible spending. No one has listened to me for the last 30 years. I'm Barbatronus, god of aging. You will age whether I do anything or not. I am Minoscurus, god of the kind of grass that cows eat. Come to me if you're a cow. I am Ambicelia, goddess of stupidity. Come to me with your bad decisions and I'll make them more stupider. Early. I am Kilgrevon, god of all real and animated cats. I will one day rule the earth. I am Renthalion, god of Robert Downey Jr. You're welcome. I am Phoenicia, goddess of Nicolas Cage. I am way sorry. I am Jerob 
Madinka, goddess of ridiculous names. All babies born in 2014, come to me in 10 years when you're being relentlessly teased. I am Redagorn. I like sports. Wait, what are we doing? I am Gobarium, god of saying Gobarium when people ask what to do with corpses. I am Dystonian, god of the Walkman and mini disc player. Severely depressed. I am Cantus Chapantus, god of unfinished. Was that a bird? I am Hemolorus, god of running out of toilet paper. Fear me! I am Morgan Freeman, god of narration. And we are the gods of the ancient Greek pantheon. A dollar! Nice! Oh, no. What? Why? Oh. What are you? Oh, oh, so gross. I don't even have a shoe that matches this one. Man, what else is lurking in this couch? What the holy... Man, this is probably why my back always gets poked. A record of the people of Couchville are life and times between the cushions. What is going on? <laughs> ah! 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 Where am I? Oh, who are you? And what are you doing in my couch? Why, I live there, of course. <laughs> oh. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, you found it. Thank you. I am Keen Warwick. Sower of seams, keeper of Febreze, and wielder of the wand of numbers. It's my remote. We use it to help silence the wretched sirens of the bachelorette. <laughs> I've ruled and reigned in your couch for about 50 years now. 50 years? The couch is that old? Wait, that's an insane amount of time. You wouldn't have to have been born in the couch. I was. Oh, gross. <laughs> Wait, what? I was born and raised in your coach. And you're Scottish? Well, I used to be Swedish until you sprayed the Scotch guard. Is that my shirt? Probably. Everything I own is stuff that you've dropped in there. I dropped a full set of clothes and a purple cape in the couch. I need to reevaluate my life. What? Oh, oh. Allow me to introduce me wife, Queen Iona. So do I call you your majesty or? I. Okay. But how do you live? I mean, what do you eat? Oh, we've always had more than plentiful amounts of food, from chips of the potato to melted m &Ms, Though we wouldn't mind if you dropped a few fruits and vegetables every once in a while. Oh, uh, yeah, I must have eaten all of those. Um, <laughs> but do I really drop that much stuff into the couch? Aye. Enough to sustain the entire kingdom. The what? Oh, oh. 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 hello there. Hi. Sire, Hi. I'm afraid the peasants in the Heidebert Highlands are asking for a better sewage system. Very well. Take some money from the treasury and get started. You have money too? Aye, our currency consists of your loose change. My loose change? How much have I dropped? Eighty million dollars. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. We have also been bequeathed the leather fold of destiny and the jangly medals of freedom. Oh, my wallet and car keys. No! But I need those to drive and live. How dare you violate our trust. The people of Couchville are very generous, but when you threaten to steal our greatest treasures... Look, I'm sorry, but you people oh, are just... Barged. You people? What's that supposed to mean? I think he means grubby couch people, my queen. Uh, no, no, I didn't mean oh, it like no, that. Oh, no, we get it. We're not from the other side of the cushion <gasps> like you. Okay, don't make this like... 
Don't make this a couch class thing. How dare you look down your nose at us? I'm sorry, I'm just not comfortable with couch Narnia. <laughs> I'm sorry to do this, but when you mess with the people of Couchville, the people of Couchville have no choice but to retaliate. <laughs> so many swords into the couch! Wait, <laughs> 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 Straggling. Fester. There you go. Ah. <laughs> it seems our kingdom is safe once again, my lord. Indeed. Hello, King of Couchville. My old foe. I thought I banished you a long time ago. The Ottoman Empire will rise again! <laughs> We're putting this double date together, Matt. I can't wait to meet your new roommate. Yeah, don't mention it. Yeah, actually, where is he? I thought you said he left three hours before you did to get here. Oh no, do you think he had car trouble? Uh, I seriously doubt that. How come? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, uh... What? Because anything faster than a donkey is clearly the devil's work. <laughs> You know the way home? <laughs> I apologize for our delay, but some devil-worshipping motorcyclist attempted to pass us on the freeway. Oh, do I dare ask what you did to him? I turned the other cheek. Good for you. Tribulation, however, donkey kicked him back to the fiery inferno from which he sprang! Uh, hi, you must be Jedediah. I've, I've... Enough with the formalities. Now, which of you is to be my bride? Uh. <laughs> ah, this one comes from good stock. Her strong legs will be most useful during the fall harvest. Ah, uh, excuse me? Jedediah, I... please. This one, however, has perfect tips for child delivery. <laughs> Plenty of womb for the child to grow, but not enough to spoil the child. Uh, Jedediah, listen to me. This is just a date, not a wedding auction. What's a date? where you invite someone to do an activity so you can get to know them better. You know what that sounds like? It sounds like... It's not the devil's work. I was going to say it sounds like a waste of money. <laughs> it often is. Hey. <laughs> Jedediah, women like romance, not being compared to livestock. I see. <clears throat> Roses are red. Violets are blue. Both are useless. Plant some wheat. Uh, you need to wake up and step into the 21st century, Jedediah. Your views on women are extremely antiquated. Yeah, let me guess. You'll only be happy if your future wife bears you a son. Yeah. Actually, I would prefer a daughter. Really? Yes, because suffering is good for the soul. And no one suffers more than a man who raiseth the girl. Okay, Jedediah. <laughs> Bye. Why don't, we, why don't we play some mini golf, okay? Ah, yes! I would be happy to beat you and tell you no, a cleanse. No, now remember, a sanctified person is like a silver bell. The harder they are smitten, the better they sound. Jedediah! The club is used to hit the ball into the hole. It's a game. Now, I haven't played a game since I left my parents' estate 29 years ago. Gross, how old are you? 29! I left them at seven months. Seven months old? Don't be ridiculous. Seven months in the womb. My mother was not one to coddle her children. What? Immediately following my birth, the midwife proceeded to slap my buttocks. And then my father bent down and whispered into my tiny ear, you can cry now and open up your lungs. <laughs> well, you can have my respect. The, cho the choice is yours. Uh, clearly this was a mistake. Let's just go get some ice cream. The unnatural freezing of cream outside the winter months is an abomination. But fortunately, I brought some oats. And twig thorns for our delight. Oh. Yeah, okay, no. No. Yeah, that wasn't my worst date. Hey, Chris, thanks for... Give me a ride here. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah. I can't believe your sister survived jumping into that rhino cage. Yeah. <laughs> also, why did your sister jump into that rhino cage? Oh, we have a series of escalating dares. Wow, okay. It's clearly time to stop. Yeah. You think she'll be okay? 
Oh yeah, yeah, I think she'll be fine. Why do you ask? You gonna take her on that date she's been hounding you about? <laughs> she's really persistent, yeah. but I don't think yeah. she's my hey, type. Hey Brandon, either. can we get oh. you the front desk to fill out some paperwork for your sister? Sure, yeah, I'll just be a minute. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Catherine, Catherine, hey. Uh, where, where am I? Um, you need to lay back, you, you've had a really long day. Oh, I, Chris, hi, hi. Hi. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. Uh, at the hospital? Hmm, so did you uh, lift me onto this gurney all by yourself? No, I think the EMT. Yeah, I'll bet you did. With those guns, ooh. <laughs> Cat Catherine, I think you need to rest. Cat. What? Call me Cat. Rare. <laughs> ow, ow, oh, ow. ow. <laughs> That tickled, but less in a fun way and more in a way that feels like stabbing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they said the rhino literally stepped on your face. So. Oh, so you were looking at my face? It's hard not to, right? What, you, what is that? What are you doing? Stop that. Stop, you're gonna hurt yourself. Okay, more. yeah, I'll stop, but just because you asked me to and not because my jaw makes the sound of Rice Krispies when it moves. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, you need to lay back, Catherine. Uh, but then it would mess up my hair, which someone has failed to compliment. No, no, I wouldn't touch your head. The, uh, <laughs> the, rat, the rhino started eating it after you blacked out. So he, just, he just left a few wispies. <laughs> It's uh, nothing a little accessorizing wouldn't fix. Just... Uh, okay. Miss Catherine, seriously, you just. Oh, need to lay come back. on. Ow, my goodness, that evil what? <laughs> your, your arm's severely injured, so. Didn't even need an x ray or anything, burly Sherlock. Sherlock, elementary, dear Watson. It's, it's got a rhino horn sticking out of it, it's pretty obvious. <laughs> You like a girl who's literally one with nature? No. No, I don't. George! Stop, stop. Oh, come on, stop. Put that away, no. please. Mm. Mm. You smell like Old Spice and antiseptic. It's just the, you know, the hand sanitizer when I came in, so what are you? You're so thoughtful of my weakened immune system. No, I'm not. <laughs> I think this is one of your molars. <laughs> your, your mouth's bleeding a lot. Not as much as my bleeding heart. <laughs> I cannot tell if you're flirting with me or hemorrhaging internally. So. Both. That's not a good thing. Can we? Yes. Okay, Catherine, we need to get you off to surgery. We have to hustle because it turns out that rhino did have rabies. Mm -hmm. so. You kissed me when you had rabies? Brenda did me too! You will not back down! Oh, guys, come on! Dude, I don't know if I can do this. I've never stolen anything before. Dude, just act natural. It's, it's easy. I don't know. <laughs> Who are you? I am your shoulder devil, Jason. Here, allow me to just climb upon <laughs> your shoulder. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay. I envisioned this going differently. <laughs> Maybe your friend could help me rise above the difficulties. <laughs> Lift me in a dignified manner. Very slick. <laughs> Jason, thievery is fun. There are all kinds of things you can steal. Money, cars, dinner mints at fancy restaurants. You gonna do this or what, man? That bit of honey ain't gonna steal itself. He's right, Jason. It's just a bit of honey. No one will even notice it's gone. Well, I guess one time won't hurt. <laughs> it most certainly will. I mean, you're right. <laughs> Got all well done. 
Nice, man. Okay, next time we should do something bigger, like a bike. Or a turkey. Yes, your friend has the spirit of the, did he say a turkey? <laughs> Guys, I'm not stealing anymore. This was a one-time thing. Oh. oh no, Jason, come on, it, it, it's easy. Oh, hey, that old lady just dropped a $5 bill. Go pick it up before she notices. Yes. Well, I don't know, I'm not gonna steal from an old lady that's messed up. Oh, come on, those are the easiest people to steal from. <laughs> I'll help you, Jason, just move towards the Luca. <laughs> so most in reach. You have to want it where it's happening. <laughs> oh, sweet gluttony. Oh. Oh. Here, here, here let Jason. me help you. Oh, my dear boy, did you fall while trying to return this money to me? How refreshingly honest. Yeah. You keep it, but remember, virtue is its own reward. <laughs> Who was that, the female Gandhi? <laughs> Wow, being honest has its benefits. What? No, Jason, it was a fluke. That kind of thing doesn't even happen in Canada. <laughs> hey, I, uh, I saw what you did for that old lady. That was really sweet of you. So here's my number. So call me, perhaps. That's just not fair. Jason, I don't want you calling her. She's far too righteous. Give me the number. Well, no, you can't make me do anything. You're right, Jason. I can't. Give it to me. Where is it? Where is the number? I must have. Is this bit of honey delicious? I don't know, Jason. Maybe you're right about that honesty stuff. No, move to James. Shimmy. <laughs> you are mine, James. You are mine. Um. <laughs> oh. What? Behold the awesome power of temptation. <laughs> you know what? I'm starting to feel warm and fuzzy inside. Let's go pay for that candy. Yeah, me too. What? No, boys, you just need to become more calloused. Quick, kill that dog. What? <laughs> no, we're not gonna kill a dog. That's messed up, man. Let's go pay for that candy and move to Canada. Yeah. <laughs> Fine, I'm sure there's someone else I can persuade. Hello, Grandma. Get behind me, shoulder devil. <laughs> My, what a lovely gala. <laughs> Indeed. I do hope Sir Francis attends this <gasps> evening. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> Good evening, gentle madam. Uh, Captain Blake. Milady, I called upon you last Sunday morn, but your handmaiden said you were out. Oh. <laughs> Uh, dear Captain, we were only just discussing the anticipated arrival of Sir Francis Francois. I'm afraid I do not know Sir Francis. Oh, what a shame. He is only the most eligible man at court. A brave and noble man. He once saved an entire family from a burning home. I touched his kerchief once. <laughs> well, I shall be most intrigued to meet this gallant hero. Is he behind the pale woman, or...? Good evening, Sir Francis. Your rugged charm has cast a shadow over all who are in the room. I wish to bear your children. <laughs> Forgive me, dear madam, but your elegance and your grace would make even the fairest of swans bow their heads in complete submission. <laughs> sound a swan makes. <laughs> Sir Francis, I am Captain Blake. I'm afraid that you've, um, <laughs> pranced away with the ladies' hearts this evening. Oh, uh, forgive me, Captain, but I cannot simply cease my jaw, for it is attached to me through and through. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sir Francis. Please call me Franny. <laughs> I think I'll just stick with Sir Francis. I heard you and your troops were involved in a little squirmish with the Americans at the Battle of Bunker Hill? Oh. <laughs> yes, it was rather significant, actually. Oh, Captain, I applaud your little games of combat, though I don't care much for fencing myself. Oh, no. Well, actually, we mostly use muskets now. Oh, musket dreadfully smoky. I say, Captain, you must watch yourself, or by this time next year, you shall have an incurable case of laryngitis. <laughs> <laughs> That is the sound you will make. <laughs> Milady, may I have the honor of this dance? Oh, dearest goddess, would you accompany me on this next dance? I'd be delighted. I know. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I say, have you ever seen such a strapping young man? Would we say strapping? Oh, Captain, do not be jealous of Franny's domineering presence. I say the waltz has left me rather flushed. Oh, oh. I'm not accustomed to exerting myself. Uh, are you all right, Franny? Oh, sink me. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. His fervent dancing overtook him. Not a strong and passionate man among men. What? Oh, yes. Wake up, my love. Uh, uh, how lovely it is to be awoken by such lovely faces. <laughs> you cannot be serious. Am I to understand that this man commands all of your affection, where here I stand, a war hero, a man who has looked death in the eye and dressed his own battle wounds? But have you dressed your own puppy? <laughs> I cannot believe you, ladies. Hold King George the Third. Hello, King George. I will defend your honor. Defend their honor. This man is not a man at all. <gasps> <gasps> you expect me to believe that he rescued a family from a burning building? He can hardly dance the waltz if that's what it was. <laughs> On guard, sir. Out of me way, you poppin' Jay. Mm, I think not. <laughs> Sir Francis, I believe I owe you an apology. It seems that I've misjudged you. Lick the wound. I'll be by the drinks. Hey, hey, everybody. Thanks for watching that video. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for more compilations and new sketches coming out all the time. Yeah! Go ahead and give us a like, comment, tell us what your favorite sketch is out of that whole compilation, and we'll see you around. Keep waving.